am loving this hair. Yes, honey. Obsessed. Make it bacon. Me imagino tus labios, pero en otra mujer. Por más que quiera la distancia no se Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope this video finds you all very, very well. If not, girl, it's okay. There will be better days. Just take a moment and just take a deep breath. And just let it out. I love doing this every single time before I start a video because, girl, we are all going through something right now and we just need to take a moment, take a deep breath and just relax. And life goes on. But other than that, today I am going to be showing you guys how I blend out my long extensions to my short hair. You guys know I did cut my hair um, a few months back now and now that I do, I still obviously apply long extensions for when I do long hair but it has become a little bit more difficult and challenging for me to blend them out only because for one, they are very short they're all one full length um, there's no layers in my hair so it is really really difficult to blend them out that way so i kind of just been figuring out a way to really blend them out to make them look natural and seamless all throughout my hair so i will obviously be showing you guys that process throughout this entire video hopefully this technique and trick really helps you guys out and you guys can try this out at home and see if it works for you but other than that if you guys are interested in knowing or learning how i managed to blend out these extensions to my short hair then just please keep on watching all right guys so we're gonna jump right into this video now and i'm going to start installing my extensions now i'm probably going to speed this process up a little bit and just talk thoroughly throughout whatever it is that i'm doing just because it does take a while for me to install them just because it is a lot of hair and you know i have to make sure i put them all in the right place if not it's all going to look kind of like all uneven and all over the place so this is my short hair right now you guys know i obviously cut my hair like a few months back it is starting to grow out a little bit but i feel like i'm going to keep my hair short for a while just because it's so low maintenance i get ready super quick now because i don't have to worry about doing my hair so much and um i don't know and all honestly it just feels good it feels like it feels comfortable it just feels like i can move around and just like enjoy myself a lot better but i do love having long hair as well which is why i love having extensions for that same reason i can be two different persons you know at the same time which is amazing but with that being said it also does take a lot of time and patience and just patience all right so my hair is all brushed out make sure you don't have any any knots or anything like that your hair is pretty much good to go um i did just wash my hair today and i blow dried it so my hair is looking nice and fresh all i did was like i said just blow dry it so this is just how it's looking like i did just straighten out these edges right here since they do tend to get a little bit wavy and curly for me i'm going to start by parting my hair i do always part my hair towards the middle so it's different if you are someone who always parts it to the side I don't know girl figure it out all right so just so you guys have an idea of how much hair i'm actually going to be installing into my hair <laughs> now as you guys can see i do have a variety of different extensions these are all three sets of extensions that i did have we do have some ombre ones over here that are going to go at the very top only because my hair has grown out so obviously we do want to match the roots pretty pretty well at the very top we also have um th this set of extensions which are more like butter blonde um there is a little bit of dimension in these as well and then we also have some very beach blonde extensions over here which are all going to really just blend beautifully all throughout my entire hair i don't remember the exact name of all the three extensions that i am going to be using so i will be listing listing them for you guys down in the description box and also some of them are in different lengths but they're all still very long i think the longest ones that i have are these right here and these are about like 24 inches these over here too um these i think are 22 or 24 inches and then these i believe are 20 or 24 
as well. It could be wrong, but they're all pretty much different lengths, also different grams. I'm going to start putting on the extensions and I am going to work my way from bottom to top. So I am just going to part my hair and you really want to go in sections here because you want to get the most hair to blend to the extensions. So every little part counts. And the very first weft that I'm going to be applying is this two weft piece. So this does have two clips in them. I am just going to put this at the very bottom since the very bottom of my head is like the shortest length that I have. So I'm just going to pop this on. And if you guys want to tease your hair before applying on the extensions, that way you guys know it's not going to fall. Um, definitely do that. Um, it's better to be safe than sorry. Now we're gonna move on and we're just going to keep continuing on doing the same thing. I'm just going to go right above that extension we just applied. I am going to go in with this three weft piece right here on the center. Make sure everything is even. Here we go. There we are. We are making some progress. Now moving on, we're going to keep doing the same thing right above. You don't want to, like I said, you don't want to leave too many gaps in between each weft because like I said, the more, the merrier. Next, I'm going to be applying another three weft piece. Next, we're going to move on to another weft and I'm going to be using this super long volumizing weft. You guys know I purchased all of my extensions from Bellamy, so this is just an, an extra volumizing weft that you can purchase separately. And I am going to be using this one because since we're now at the very middle of the head, that is the largest part. So it is going to go around all throughout the head. Moving on to the next piece, we're going to be using another three weft piece, I mean four weft piece. This one is a little bit shorter, but I am just going to use this to wrap it all around the head. And I'm going to be using another one of the four weft pieces just on this side. The next one that I'm going to be applying is another four weft piece this one right here and this one we're gonna since we are starting to head towards the very top of the head i am going to start using the ones that are more rooted and we're gonna be using that other four weft piece to wrap around the left side And moving on to the very top now I am going to start putting the two weft pieces next I'm going to be putting on these two and these are not rooted but once I put the other ones that are rooted at the very top it's not going to be too noticeable that we have these at the very bottom And then the very last ones are going to be these rooted ones next. And these are the last ones that are going to go at the very top. On right here to the sides on the right and left side. Just gonna brush all of this out. Also, I do have some individual wefts, which of course look like these single ones right here, which these come super in handy when you do have short hair because like you guys see right here on the very bottom, there's still some short pieces peeking through and you can just add these like right, literally right at the very bottom and it just blends it out super, super well. But I did just want to show you guys the trick that I do um, pretty much all the time now, now that I do have short hair, when I do have these extensions installed and then I still see some of these short pieces peeking through. Now, what I like to do is I do like to grab a 
clear rubber band like this and nothing bigger than this, nothing darker than this at all. Just because since we are going to be tying all of those little pieces, which you guys will see here in a minute, um, you don't want the rubber band or anything else peeking through and you do want it to make, and you do want to make sure it lays really flat onto your head um, because if you are going to be parting your hair towards the center like it is right now, it may peek through at the very, um, back part but honestly with me it never really peek, peek, peeks through and i'm just going to literally start picking up all of these pieces now i don't pick up anything um above my ear just because it's just going to look very unnatural and obvious that something's going on so you really just want to grab the bottom pieces Next, I'm just going to grab these hairs right here and just take them to the back. Also, you are going to need a bobby pin. Um, I have very blonde ass hair, so I definitely recommend getting a blonde bobby pin, but I only have a black one right now, so I have to work with what I have. I am gonna let go of these top pieces up here. So these babies right here, you gotta let go of those because those are the pieces that are going to hide the knot that you're going to do right now. I'm not gonna lie, that was extremely hard doing by myself without looking in the mirror, but we got it done, you guys got the point. So, um, as you guys can see, there are no more short hairs peeking through towards the front. Um, so that's just the trick that I've been doing for a while now, and it really hides my hair. Now, I most of the time when I do have extensions, long extensions like this, I normally don't ever have my hair towards the front the entire night. I normally have either one hair, one side of my hair forward or all of it to the back so that's not really a problem and the back hides really really well now i am just going to curl some pieces all right guys so as you guys can see here this is the finished look i am super obsessed i am obsessed every single time honestly it just it's just crazy to me how i can have long and short hair now it's like the best of both worlds but as you guys can see it's hardly noticeable that i do have short hair everything just blends out so evenly and beautifully i also recommend if you are someone who has short hair or wears extensions period honestly waving and curling your hair really is going to disguise the fact that you do have short and long hair everything blends out beautifully all together as opposed to if you do if you do have it straight i'm sure a lot of you can agree to that um and i like having it curly either way it just looks really really beautiful but hopefully this technique and trick that i showed you guys is helpful for you guys it has helped me and i just personally really really do love it it just really just blends my hair really beautifully that way other than that i really hope you guys enjoyed this video again i do apologize for taking forever and doing this i'm so sorry but it's better late than ever right yes um other than that i love you guys so 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 much thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon in my next video bye guys